And so now that we've gone over some of the ways that fans create fan engagement with other fans and artists create fan engagement with their fan bases, we are now gonna talk about ways that we help create fan engagement. And so the first one we are gonna start out with is fan matching. So I love doing these, they've been so much fun. Some of the comments that we have gotten from these have been my favorite fan interactions that we I personally have ever seen where they're like, oh, I met my best friend through this. And so what we do is we create a simple Google form where fans filled out their information, such things as like their favorite album. This was all based on one fandom. So it would be like Taylor Swift fan matching or Louis Tomlinson fan matching. And so we would match fans with other fans in their fandom who are around the same age, like the same things, so they can make a new bestie within the fandom. We all love having more friends who love the same artists that we do, and when anything happens with that artist, it's just fun to have a person to talk about it with. We have also made so many quizzes at this point. I love I, quizzes. I am an expert at yeah. quizzes now. <laughs> Carlin. <laughs> Carlin makes all of our quizzes. So we have everything from like which Jonas Brothers member are you to... Which Taylor Swift era? Oh yeah, that one's a really fun one. We've done which Five Sauce member are you? Mm -hmm. um, we've done which Beyonce era are you? This was mm -hmm. two. We created the which Taylor Swift era are you before the Eras tour. This was like literally before Midnight's was even announced. Yes, so look at us, we predicted the future. And so these are really fun. These uh, are more so just a way for you to have fun and you could quiz yourself on your knowledge of your favorite artist or just take a fun personality test. We have also done some song brackets. So when Red Taylor's version came out, we created a song bracket where you had to rank the songs. These are hard. These are hard. But these are fun, and they're fun to do with like a group of people too. Yeah, it's fun to compare them to. We've also done one with... Five Sauce. Oh yeah, Five Sauce. We did a Five Sauce song bracket, and that, talking to two Five Sauce girlies right here, that's a hard one. We were arguing. Yes. <laughs> also, we have our fan clubs like we talked about. So on the fan club platform, it's where an artist can interact with the fans and where fans can interact with fans. So you can comment, you can create posts, you can DM, all the fun things all in one place. And so this is a fun way to get to know other fans within your Sam fandom. Also a great place for the artists to actually have more of that one-on-one -on -one connection with their fan base. From a fan's perspective, like we think, oh, social media, these are all one-on-one -on -one ways to engage. But a lot of times, crazy enough, the artist doesn't get a lot of the data that like you're putting into Instagram or you're putting into Facebook. And so we actually make sure like the artist could email you if they wanted to um, or send you like a thank you note or anything like that. So they actually hold the power when they have a fan club on with the band, which is cool. And then we also have a fun newsletter. So we have over 16,000 fans on the newsletter now, which is insane. Um, which you can join below if you want. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Honestly, we have a new blog post every week. We always update people on what YouTube video is coming out next or talk about a fun TikTok that we did that exploded. And then we also talk about what news is happening. So you'll be the first to find out, comes out every Thursday. And like Carlin mentioned earlier, we do create fan projects. So we have created some awesome ones. I'll put the photos up like Jonas Brothers, Casey Musgraves. Um, we did a really fun one at the Five Sauce Today Show, which was a whole thing within itself. We'll link out to that uh, full video. Yeah, it, it deserved a whole video. <laughs> it did. And then one of my favorite things too is we also have our Behind the Van series. So you can check out plenty of these on our YouTube channel. We have a whole playlist of all of these fan interviews that we have done. And then we also have a lot of blog articles of these fan interviews too. And really where this started was, you know, we're big music fans ourselves and we always see interviews with the artists, but never with the fans. And we really wanted to highlight and just share the stories of these fans who've put so much time and effort into their fan accounts. These are a lot of fun. It's a cool way to really see the diversity in fandom too. Oh yeah. That's one of my favorite things about it is you see men who are in their 50s or people from Europe or people from the US or people of all ages, all demographics. It's so cool to see how fandom really brings us all together. It breaks all the stereotypes of fandom so with true. this series. And it's so fun to see how they discover 
discover their favorite artist because every single time it's different. Yeah. And their favorite songs are always different. Like every single Taylor Swift mm -hmm. fan account we have ever interviewed, I'm pretty sure they all have a different yeah. favorite song. And it's been fun too because we started this in 2020 during COVID, right after it started. And some of those people that we have interviewed now have like the best relationships with today. Um, shout out to Carla Jonas and to Chrissy. Oh yeah, has this ghost, I love yeah. her. It's such an incredible way to make friends within the fandom. So definitely check out the Behind the Fan series and follow their incredible fan accounts of yeah. the artists that you love. If you love an artist, there's probably a fan account on there for you. And then one thing that we have really started to do, which I think is so much fun, I love doing these. It's really fun. It's creating some in-person fan activations. We are bringing back in-person events and one of these fun ways we did, we'll put some little footage in here. We did a bracelet making station at the T-Swift Nashville show. And it was so cute to see like the conversations that were even happening between different fans. So the bracelet making station was really a lot of fun and creating more fan activations like this that are super artist specific. So if you didn't know, Taylor Swift's Arrows Tour, everyone's been making friendship bracelets to trade at the show. So that's why we did that. But creating some that are very specific to the artist and their brand and just helping fans meet one another and just helping fans have fun and create community. So if you're in Nashville, be on the lookout. Yeah, and make sure to follow us to stay up to date with all of these forms of fan engagement. We are always releasing new ways to engage with other fans or your favorite artists. And so make sure to follow us on YouTube. We have, of course, all the things, Instagram, TikTok, join the newsletter, all the links are in the description. And message us too, if there's a way that we didn't mention that you would want to interact with artists or other fans, let us know, because that is our job. We really want to create these experiences for you and make sure that we are providing such a positive community and just atmosphere around these fandoms. So now that you know what fan engagement is, you can Take this information and do with it what you will. Don't be afraid to create your own fan engagement opportunities. You can totally reach out to us if you have an idea and we would love to give you advice, help you with anything. Do not be afraid to take risks because I would say 99% of the time, all the other fans feel the same way and everyone at the end of the day just wants opportunities to show love and support to their favorite artists. Let's go do it. We're gonna go create some awesome more fan opportunities.